What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Subnautica. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, uh, we didn't really get a ton done, but we did do some exploring and we got our Seamoth, which is... It's for some reason not showing up on the inside of the ship station. Uh, but we parked it right out here. I'm trying not to use it too, too much, only because um, I don't have a ton of resources to make the power cells, and um, I'd like to find a moon base, or a moon pool schematic, but I will probably have to use it to get out to where the moon pool is. I also found out, somebody in the comments let me know, on one side you can just pick up the beacon, but on this side with all the little buttons, there's actually an edit label. So we're going to call this Main Base. And there we go. Sweet. So that's pretty cool. We have our Main Base Beacon. Um, there's a couple of things that I wanted to do. First off, though, is build a couple more lockers. At least one. Because I've got way too much inventory crap going on. And... These are mostly getting full. Though I still do have some room. Uh, let's just start dumping things. How's that? So I got a lot of silver ore. I don't know if that was off camera or if that was in the actual last episode. I can't really quite recall. Uh, I'm going to put the wiring kit here. I was making something and to be honest I don't remember what it was. I know that's horrible. But I don't remember. Now, I want a lot of titanium right now because this episode's main theme is going to be experimenting with something that was brought up to me in the comments. Uh, I may actually want to put one back and keep my welder with me. <laughs> Three guesses what we're going to be up to. So, right now, I have 0.8 hull integrity, right? Now, uh, for some of you that may or maybe just tuning in or something, I found a finigly really, I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be in here or not, way to create a floating base platform thing. So what I'm trying to figure out is, as of right now, if I come down here... And I know, I just went all the way up to the top to come back down. I, I know, I know, I know. Oh, that must have been what I was working on. Yep, wiring kit. I was working on a workbench. Cool. Okay. So if I were to place... Let's just say this here. Let's see if it'll do it. So now... Oh, okay. Negative one to... Wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope, nope. So basically, if you can read fast or want to pause it... It says, due to hull weakness, it's basically cracking the base. There we go. And you'll get these little um, broken parts. So, what I'm curious about is, when I add, usually if you add... I did it again, dagnabbit. Usually if you add a foundation, though, you'll get a different message. Which is... This. Plus, base hull integrity is now 2. Actually, this would be kind of interesting. You could make little multi-level platforms or whatever. So, it's down to 0.8 when I take this back out. Now, what's interesting is if I swim up here rather than going all the way back down and back up again. Because I have to be... For some reason, I, have to, I seem to have to be down here anyway. If I were to add something here... You don't get that message. So, it's still 0.8. But, a foundation typically adds hull integrity. So, what I'm trying to deduce, and this was brought up to me in the comments, but I haven't had a definitive proof test thing, so that's what we're doing, is I want to find out if... Woo! Yeah, that happens sometimes if you're standing on top of it and it's up over the surface, you go flying, it's kind of weird. What I want to know is, does this also apply to decreasing the hull integrity? So, for example, if I were to add, um, well, let's just do this for now. Okay. Now, I didn't get a decrease in hull integrity message. 
Which leads me to believe, if it's above the surface of the water, there's no hull integrity issues. Sweet. So, what that means is we're basically going to build an above ground... Um... Thing. Base. And what I'm actually going to do, temporarily, I don't think it'll be permanent. Hence, temporary. Um, I do want to take this quartz and make it into a glass. Why, you may ask. So I can make a hatch up at the top. So... We can get out onto the roof of the base. So wait! Like I said, this is probably not going to be permanent. Mainly just for, um... Mainly just so I can get around here and, and finagle and move around as, as needed. So this is going to be a building episode, I think. We <laughs> fill of full of bouncing. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Let's do a room here. Can I do that? Will that work? I might have to get in the water. Yep. Why? I don't know. It just seems to be the thing you have to do. So this is freaking awesome basically, is, is what's going on here. Can you add a hatch to these? No, you cannot. Okay. I was curious about that. So, basically, this is gonna be like, uh, the submerged section, and this is gonna be the... Ooh, let's go. Let's check it out. This is gonna be like the main above ground section, which is awesome. Uh, what's a window cost? Two glass, so I need four quartz. Ooh. Also, we could make... Hmm. Intriguing. We could actually make more glass stuff. Hmm. Because it won't affect the hull integrity. Interesting. Interesting idea. Okay. Alright. Oops. Can we... Oh, we can't make it up on top of the... Room. Ooh. And something about the game's optimization does not like me being up on the surface for some reason. Now, the bigger question here is what do we do with it, basically? I mean, yay, we can make this. Woohoo! But now what? It's like, where, where do we go from here? Yeah, something about being up on top of the roof, it does not like. Um, we... Hmm, okay, we could do... I wonder... Wow, yeah, it does not like something about me being... Every time I look over in this direction or turn or move, it, like, does a frame rate hitch. Interesting. Um, I don't think... Well, yeah, maybe we could. Let's do it. I know. I'm not really giving you guys much to go on, am I? I'm just, like, talking out loud. Thinking out loud. More accurate. So... Could I do this? Will, the, will you fit? Oh, it's gonna go off of the other... Oh, I see... It's wanting to connect to the other room, not the elbow. So there's not enough room there, I don't think. Okay, well then let's do this. Let's give it a little bit more room. Can I grab this? Of course not. This is going to be a little inconvenient, I won't lie. Um, hard to build. Actually, because of that, let me go ahead and pause it. We'll get more done if I just build a little bit. And then we check back and see what's going on. Alrighty, so, I think we have some progress. Now, let me show you from the outside first. Look at that. Look at the ship we made. No. Um, this. So, I actually built it out a little bit so it's symmetrical, because you know me and my symmetry. Uh, I basically put a single corridor and then an elbow, and then a room, and then a glass corridor, because I was like, look at this view, that would be awesome. So, that's what it looks like from the outside. Now let's check the inside. Now this I have not actually seen. I don't know what it looks like on the interior. This is pretty cool. Oh, yes! I'm, 
I'm loving this. I want to do glass everything. Somebody needs to show me how to, like, cheat in quartz or something, because quartz is really, like, it's not hard for me to find, it's just, it doesn't seem like it's, and there's enough of it. I never seem to have enough quartz. Um, but I'd totally be okay with retro, e retroing everything in my base with these glass room things. Mainly, I don't know how many people know this about me, but I am a die-hard uh, Knights of the Old Republic fan. If you didn't know that, you do now. Um, die-hard. Like, redonkulously a big fan of Knights of the Old Republic. And, oh yeah, by the way, I made a workbench in the interim break there and managed to get myself a high-capacity tank, so we're up to 105, and a swim charge fins, so we can charge up our stuffs. So we're getting there. Uh, the biggest thing, again, is I'd like to... I really, really, really want a moon room so bad. Actually, you know what? Screw it. That's what we're going to do for the rest of the episode. I'm going to dump some of... I'm going to pause gonna dump some of this stuff, get a few resources ready, uh, and then we're gonna go after it in the sea moth, I think, and see what happens. So, fingers crossed. Alrighty, so I think we're pretty good to go. I'm gonna drink some water, eat some food, got an extra one here. I didn't cook these, but that'll be okay. I do have a power cell in case we run out of fuel, a beacon if we find the Grand Reef that we're looking for, and a first aid kit in, things, in case things get nasty. All right, so let's go. I probably should have just stayed the other way. Uh, what did I say last time? Let me go down here a minute. Um, so, what I was actually looking for is, I know, according to the wiki, it's supposed to be south-southwest, I think. I'm just not entirely sure where that is. I also don't know when it became nighttime, so this could be an issue. i uh, tell you what, I'm pretty sure we came to the conclusion that it was facing the window, which is kind of that way, was south. So we're just going to head that way, I think. Let's see if that works. Um, yeah, that should be okay. I was going to... Welcome aboard, Captain. Ooh, okay. So let's head uh, this away. We're at about 47% power. Um, I'm actually not sure that I want to go too deep at the moment because I might need to pop back up when the sun comes up just to get my bearings. Unless we find this Grand Reef before that. Uh, another wiki thing that I saw mentioned that it was possible that it was close to the Floater Island has kind of always been in the game. There's some more scrap we could pick up on our way back. Alright, we got a sunrise. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so that's gotta be east. Right? Yeah, because that's clearly the sun. That's the reflection. Okay. So if that's east, yeah. So it should be... I think we're heading a little too Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, southeast, actually. So let's head this way. Hi, guys. That sound always makes me think of Episode One from Star Wars with that big old fish that eats the smaller fish. You know, there's always oh quartz. We're gonna stop for quartz too, because I need quartz. But, I'm thinking, as long as we stay in our ship... Ooh, more quartz. Wow, this is going to take a minute. <laughs> if I keep grabbing all the quartz I'm finding. Uh, but I'm thinking if we stay in our ship, we should be relatively safe. As long as we stay within our depth meter thingy. Oh, wow, more quartz. Yeah, let's grab it. That sound 
right there. That's what makes me think of it. Wow, this is just like open resources. There's no grass or anything. Spadefish! Spadefish! Good eating. Ooh, that thing's after me. Run! Run away! Welcome aboard, Captain. And I do have my welder and swim uh, charge fins on me as well. All right, we're we're not gonna grab. Whoa! Holy crap! At all the cords. I'm not actually gonna grab all of that at the moment, just because it's just not feasible, really. Okay, this is looking more like a drop off than a reef. I'm thinking. What are these things? I don't know. Maybe this is a grand reef. Caution. Passing safe depth. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Let's uh, bring it back up a little bit. It may just be one of those where I might not be able to reach it in... Ooh, what is all this? What are you? I might not be able to reach it in the sea moth because it might not have a deep enough range. Mercury ore? Uh-huh. Nothing weird here going on. Nope. Completely normal. Wow, if I want quartz, I know where to go. Holy crap. And we do have the rebreather on. Um, so the deeper we go, we shouldn't be losing any more oxygen than we normally would, which is cool. The bigger concern I'm having right now is running across some giant beastie thing that I'm not supposed to be fighting right now. Nice. We're doing good on quartz. Limestone, huh? Alright, let me actually swim up to the top real quick. I don't want to use the battery on my Seamoth just yet. Ooh, yeah. That's all that char- I should have left my builder. I don't really need it. Let's check our sun here. Okay, so we're south, but we should be heading more southwest. So it's probably good that we're taking a detour-ish direction here. I don't know what that tree thing is. I, the other thing is I am not, by any stretch, some sort of um, aquatic guru. So when it says reef, I don't really know what quantifies as a reef. Caution. Passing safe depth. Right, collisions will do damage, but we're not colliding, right? So we should be okay. I want to see what's down here. It's creepy and freaky and covered in quartz. That would make a great title, wouldn't it? It's creepy and freaky and covered in quartz. Um, alrighty, let's see here. Warning, maximum depth range. Okay, okay, Call okay, okay, imminent. okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't, don't go that way, got it. Enough said. Alright, let's whip around here. I can't honestly remember how deep the, um... I feel like I'm just going around and not actually going out enough. But... I mainly prob... I do not like that sound. I do not... I do not like that either! Crap, where am I? I thought I was moving away from the... I am moving away from it. Well, what the heck is the Leviathans doing out here? When did that happen? Okay, how about we just skirt the map? How's that? Let's just go around the edge. And see what we can find. Because we don't want to go out there if there's reapers out there. Mainly because I don't have a cyclops. I need me a cyclops. Um, I did also read if we can find the... Um, floater island thingy mabobber that now I think on the surface it spawns lithium 
which would be awesome because lithium is one of the ingredients we need to make the um, plasteel. Ooh, we found a mushroom. Mushroom tree biome. That's cool. Caution. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. Alright. Well... What is... Have we seen that before? We probably have, and I'm just forgetting it. Alright, lithium... I'm pretty sure lithium also spawns in the mushroom biome too, right? Am I just making that up? Ooh, I see a fragment. I see a fragment. I know we're not really gonna be able to get the moon pool one other than the Grand Reef, but... Uh, Terraformer, I think we already have. Tell you what, I'm gonna drop the beacon here instead of the uh, Grand Reef like I was originally gonna do. Uh, mainly just because this is also a good biome to keep track of. So let's label this uh, Mushroom Tree Biome and see how that works. Oh, and we should probably grab ourselves some water. Might have to head back, actually. Because we're running out of food, water, and overall juice. I do have the extra power cell, but I don't have the extra food and stuff to continue exploring. Really not liking all these roars and growls and stuff. It's not cool, man. Not cool at all. Wow, this is actually a big place. <sighs> Getting some frame rate lag as this all pops in and loads. Almost ran into stuff there. Okay, looks like we got to the edge of that biome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Alright, let's let's actually fix this real quick. There we go. Because I just don't like driving around a broken submarine. Come on! I just welded this back together. Alright, let's, um... There's that Reaper again. Alright. I don't know where they're coming from, but I think I might have to have a Cyclops before I can get to... Um... Before I can actually get deep enough to go out and find the, um... Yeah, the other one. Wow, we are far away. So, I think I'm going to wrap things up for this episode here. And I guess the main theme is not finding the moon pool, but it was in fact actually uh, doing some surface building, which is pretty cool. And I'm definitely going to be doing more of that in the future. That's that's like definitive, no question at all. We're, we're going to be doing a surface above water base, which would be cool. Oh, by the way, I never finished my thought about the whole Night Seal Republic thing. What I wanted to do is eventually start building with a lot more glass uh, corridors and observatory rooms and stuff like that. Um, because it reminds me of Manon from Knights of the Old Republic, the water planet, where they had a lot of glass and um, underwater... Oh man. Poop. Um, underwater stuff and things like that. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. And um, they had a lot of like white surfaces and glass buildings and open corridors and underwater cities. It was really, 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 really cool. And so I would totally like to redo my whole base in a Manon style of everything's like glass above this water world kind of thing. It'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, fail on finding the Grand Reef. Oh well. Um, I guess that'll have to wait until we get our Cyclops class submarine, and we'll go from there. So, again, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!